Welcome back to Review Everything. This week, we're going to be putting our body on the line. We're going to review the McRib. The McRib. Uh, this is corporate America's middle finger to not only fine dining, but to Mother Nature herself. We know the story of uh, how God supposedly created Eve through taking a rib from Adam. This, instead of creating a person from a rib, this is a rib made from people. Just kidding. Of course, the McRib is not made from people. I do not want McDonald's to put a hit out on me. Um, instead, it's made of these things. Now, I'm pretty stupid. I'm pretty dumb, actually. But somehow, I managed to keep this barbecue-flavored carcinogen out of my body for 23 years of my life. But now we're on YouTube, and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be trying this together. Will my experience with the McRib be closer to this? I have eaten the ribs of God. Or this? I'm a huge fan of fast food. Uh, in case you you can't see this part of like down, but trust me, I I know a thing or two about fast food. One of my favorite parts about fast food is when new menu items are introduced. It's like a guilty pleasure of mine. The second I see a Baja Blast flavored Doritos Locos Tacos Supreme, I, whatever I see, I'm going to buy it. My smooth brain needs it. So uh, so let's get into this. Let's um, I'm gonna keep you waiting to. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. Can you? Mmm. Mmm. Uh, see what's under the hood. Oh my god. That's gonna taste awesome. All of those onions just in that <laughs> one clump. I feel like I'm at the edge of a high dive right now, just looking down at my doom. And like, I know I'm gonna live. I know I'm gonna live through this. But I just am not. It's scary. It's a little scary. <laughs> okay. Yep. <laughs> What the fuck? Look at this. That's, just to clarify, that's not ribs. They mold um, supposedly pork shoulder, but uh, probably other parts into that shape to create the McRib. So let's, let's do this. You can tell that the person who created this definitely had some trauma. This tastes like someone trying to cope with um, cope with a really unhealthy divorce that they went through. I just got a bite that had the texture of uh, what I imagine heart. It probably feels like. <sighs> the world around me is moving fast and yet slow at the same time. There's something in that McRib that is not <laughs> that is that is mind altering. Fast food, more like ass food. That's pretty funny. That was pretty funny. You gotta give it to me. That was pretty funny. I'm gonna try a little experiment real quick. I got this napkin here. I'm gonna try and really bring the full, full. Co oh yeah, Are you ready for this? Look, look at it. Who did? Who did this? This, this looks like a fossil. Oh my god, it looks like a fossil. I mean, I, I, I hate to go as low as it just looks like someone. Just like shat in lines on a um like a pork chop, but it looks like someone just shat uh, like a raccoon. Just for all I know, that's how this could be made. It could just you could have a raccoon and just a couple different times. Gross. Hmm. So is the McRib good? Could the McDonald's McRib? Hold up to say an episode of Bobby Flay Throwdown with Bobby Flay, where he has his own rack of ribs and he goes up against McDonald's McRib. Uh, no, they would they would lose. They would lose. Could the McRib go up against a uh, McDouble? No, they would still it would still lose. Could the McRib go up against a pressed patty of worms you find on the sidewalk after it rains? Yeah, that's that's definitely its league. I don't want to finish this. It's fucking gross. As I'm looking at this, I can. I can see and hear all of the lost souls that are trapped inside of this McRib. Bread's really good. Bread's really good. The pickles and the onions um, definitely save this. At least some vegetable. What's that? What's that Simpsons thing? Hmm. Now without lettuce. I think we all know better than to trust McDonald's with a rib. With a rib. And again, it's not a rib. It's not a rack of ribs. It's just. It's just pressed. It's just pressed into a shape. For why? Of all of the menu items that McDonald's, a huge corporation, has access to, could do well, 
Why are they, why are they, why are they doing this to us? Would I recommend buying the McRib? Yes, you should try the McRib. You should absolutely try the McRib for two reasons. Um, one, I don't want McDonald's to kill me. Two, you just gotta, you gotta try it, you know? Like, if you've tried the McRib already, then you know to stay away. You know better. But if you haven't tried it, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to just say the word McRib out loud to other people. But then once you get it and you start eating it, it's it's debatable if, if saying the word McRib to another person is worth actually having to eat the McRib, even though it's kind of funny. So the flavors, like a three out of ten, four out of ten. The barbecue sauce is fine. It's McDonald's barbecue sauce. It's, it's whatever. The texture, um, I'm going to actually... It, it, it would be like a zero out of 10, but it's so, the texture is so gross. I want to knock down, um, the flavor to a two out of 10. Like I want, I want it to go negative. Like it's a negative one out of five. So flavor two out of five texture that, um, appearance, it kind of looks cool. Kind of looks all right. Actually. Um, when you hold it like this, when you hold it like that and you look at the patty, not so great. I'd say four out of 10. It's kind of cool looking on the outside. Um, and then as far as lethality goes, five out of five, this shit will kill you. Which brings us an overall rating of, I don't want to do the math of uh, this fucking sucks.